up guys good to see you thank you for tuning in when I was a kid I remember watching Oprah Winfrey and there was a picture that they showed that absolutely scared the crap out of me this is a long time ago it was like a car wreck with a person's face but it looked really weird it was very scary especially at like eight years old or ten years old whatever it was so I was wondering like you know that picture has to be out there somewhere online so I started looking for it and I came across it. I came across a video on YouTube where they go through the whole story and they show the picture and it's still just as shocking as it was back then. The short of it is, is a, is a young man named John Bola where he was 16 years old. He was on the way to a concert and he ran off the road and hit a tree and passed away. And it's just, it's just a horrible thing. Instead of me telling the story and messing it all up, we'll watch this video together to show you the storyline behind this photo. Two things before we start this video. This was 1984, guys. You really have to put yourself back in time to 1984, okay? I'm not saying people couldn't edit photos back then, but it wasn't as easy as it is now. Let's put it that way. But, but, just wait for it. This photograph was taken by the police, okay? That, to me, changes everything and it validates it that much more. This is one of those ones where I always thought that if there was a real picture of a ghost, this is the one. Here we go. It is very dimly lit. I don't know when, when they had the accident. Again, it was raining, four boys. Wow. Drizzle, fog. They were coming down this street from this direction over there. It's a straightaway, pretty long straightaway. It comes up over a rise. We come down this hill, slight incline down, and all of a sudden the road just starts turning left and it just keeps turning and turning. Now, I'm kind of surprised that it's more of a gradual curve than I thought. And I also predicted that they would be farther down around this curve as it kept curving before they lost control. But no, it was just beyond the second light to the right there is where it happened. And again, I wonder which concert it was. I was trying to find out the information. If I look into it enough, I can probably find out the actual concert. Just curious, you know. If you're joining us, we had four boys going to a rock concert. They were all excited, 16 years old. One was killed. And an apparition came forth from a photograph when the police came. We're going to talk about that. But the one thing I'm noticing and I did come here first during the day, just to make sure, is right up here. These are the trees. Let's cross the street. And the trees are exactly the same. That's crazy. I'm telling you, they are exactly the same from those 40, almost 40 years ago, which I find hard to believe. That is pretty crazy. I mean, they're bigger trees, but even the smaller one here. Now, you see this big one to the right? I've got a flashlight. There's a big one to the right, and there's these two to the left. Now, the car, the vehicle was kind of like an SUV looking thing, and it had just missed this tree to the right and just skimmed this little guy, which again, I'm just surprised. It's like the same size. And this was, these were the trees. And in fact, it was this tree here on the left that. Wow. This is really what wrapped the car up right in the middle. Now we have here damage. Wow. That is the damage. Still the scar. In fact, there is a hole, a hole down there that you can see. I put the light. Now well, maybe animals living there, but look at that, guys. That is the scar from the accident. 
This is it. Still from 40 some years ago. Can you imagine? That is crazy. Looks like we still have some traffic coming here. We're well off the road, so we're safe. Yeah, so like you said, it's not a very tight turn. You know, so it's not like it's a very dangerous, it's a very gradual turn there. So I'm assuming something must have happened to make him veer off the road like that. And yeah, this is it. This is, this is so eerie. Now, I'm gonna stand where the officer stood. He was in the street. The car was facing right, it was facing left, the front side. That's right, it was, a, it was an officer and they used a 30 millimeter camera. And he was right here when he took the, the famous picture. Now, what's spooky is in the picture is there are three phenomenons besides the boy. Now, of course, the, the apparition of the soul leaving, but we also had a red and white streaks all over the place, which now the police officer, he went to, uh, years later, he got the photo. And Let's just go back real quick and just look at this photo for a second. I'm gonna blow this up real quick, oops. So, this is 1984, right? And this is an officer taking picture. It's very eerie, very eerie. And I know a lot, a lot of people are gonna say, oh, I can just, I know, all I can do is just put that image right over top of it and blah, 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 you know? But again, this is, a, the police took this picture and also, if you were gonna impose this kid's face over this wreckage, you would also have to have a picture of him opening his mouth up like that in agony as well. To me, when I saw this picture on Oprah Winfrey back in the day, it looked like, you know, he hit that tree and his, his soul was just flying out of it to me, you know, but, and this picture was taken not too long after the wreck. I thought the body was gone already. No, the body is still in the car. He's laying over. He's laying over. And, you know, sci scientists have shown that. I've also seen reports now that they're showing how the brain, the brain is still active for quite a few minutes after the, the body is deceased, right? And by the time they got there and took this picture, they could have been at the right time, at the right place, right as the soul is leaving the body. And this kid is just screaming in agony because he doesn't want to go. And the shock of just dying that suddenly, you know. But it's a very, very disturbing picture. And the, uh, like I said, if you wanted to fake this picture, you would have to have a person that looks just like him opening up his mouth like that. And it's just, it's just a weird, it's a weird image. And... There's a lot more things about this picture once you sit there and look at it for quite a while. So here we go. Besides the boy, now of course the, the apparition of the soul leaving, but we also had a red and white streaks all over the place, which now the police officer, he went to, uh, years later he got the photo and the other photos and he went to photography shops and he wanted to get explanations and no one could explain everything. They could explain a few things, but not some of the things that I'm gonna talk to you about. And I know, again, there's people out there that are gonna say, oh, I get those all the time with certain lights and this and that. I think what this is gonna come down to is just your personal opinion on, on what you believe as far as the paranormal goes. Um, I know there's some things in this picture that you can possibly technically say that okay that's just from the flash and you know the atmosphere conditions at the time blah 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 but these red and white they're like lightning not lightning bolts but like electrical charges like a tesla tesla charges almost like a horror movie and they were going through the boy oh john wow. and there was also somewhere i think up here up in this spot somewhere above the car 
there was apparition there was an apparition of three individuals now i i've got to go back and pick it up and maybe you can mm. but it showed three individuals here and i say it was right in this position here and it is said that those are three relatives of john bulware that were coming to take him away Now, the freakiest thing that I find is if you look at the picture, which would be about right there, driver's side door, guys. Oh yeah, this is pretty crazy. Door is partly open, it's shiny, it's a metal skin, the paint, dark. And you can actually see right there the reflection of what looks like a lab, which he, I believe, had. It's his dog. And the people are saying that that was his pup. Who had passed on before comforting him as his soul was leaving his body, maybe to help guide him. I guess dogs do have souls. I I myself hope the dog was there to help comfort him, you know. If you can believe it, I, I can't make a conclusion. Right. But this is where it happened, guys. And yeah, what else can I say? Right here, we are standing. And I'm, I'm standing right now. This is the spot where just above in the car on the passenger side he laid and left his body that poor boy and we hope he's in a better place right now so i don't know what you're going to believe i'm not telling you right. right or wrong i am just reporting the the interesting facts here and that's how i feel about the situation is pretty much it's just your level of belief and what you want to believe. That's it from St. Paul, Minnesota. This will conclude our episode part two. And tell me what you think. I'm, I'm in the middle. I'm, I'm kind of thinking there's this, this could be. I mean, there's too much going on in that picture. And it's not like he's flipping the camera around. Otherwise, the whole image would be blurred. So I can't, I can't explain it. And I'm, I'm. I'm amazed by it. Tell me what you think. And let's, uh, maybe some of you have some more information. There's a certain feeling I get from that picture, you know, and I've always thought to myself, if there was a real picture of a ghost, it's that picture right there. So, guys, it's been awesome. Thank you for watching this. I'll be doing some more videos on stuff that I think is real paranormal. And I can't wait to see what you think. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe if you want. And I will see you guys next time.